Okay, so here today we're showing you a train tunnel. This is known as the Mahnoi train tunnel. Uh, this is a very early train tunnel that was driven in the early 1860s. And there's a few things that are very intriguing about this tunnel. And that's one, that it has these two ventilation fans here. And two, it actually intersects mine workings. First, we'll talk a little bit about these ventilation fans. On each side here, you can see that there's two fans. These fans didn't draw air out, but they actually pushed air in. This is for back in those days, they had steam engines, which produced a lot of smoke. And because of the length of this tunnel, if you didn't ventilate it, it would get all built up in there and it would just sit in there. Now, inside the tunnel, you can't see it, but there's actually a large channel that's carved in the side of the tunnel up near the ceiling and that's to collect the smoke and easily channel it out through that designated area. Now we'll take a little bit closer look of these fans here. Now here you can get a little idea of what the fans look like. This would have been the intake here and the air would be drawn in through this fan and inside there's a large shaped funnel where the air would move into. You can see it here in the doorway. This funnel shape in the doorway. Now from there you can see there's this large steel frame around the opening of this tunnel. Now inside the steel frame you can see the remnants of it that there was wood lining. That wedged inwards to divert the air into the shape of the tunnel so it wasn't just blowing back out, it was going in. Now, earlier when I was speaking about how it intersected mine workings, about three quarters of the way through when they were driving this tunnel, they actually intersected a coal vein and cut through an old mine slope. Inside the mine, there's some brick walls that seals up the slope where they cut through. And if you look up on the ceiling, you can see the pitch of the call and the old timbers and planks from where they previously mined. There's another train tunnel that's like this down in uh, Lansford, which was the Hotto Tunnel, which was called the Hotto Tunnel, and that was actually used specifically for mining and then converted into a train tunnel. So I'll take a walk in a little more and explain more about this train tunnel. Now above us here, if Justin could point it out, you'll see two dates up on the concrete. Above us is a road, and this is the reinforcement for the road. You see two dates, 1862 and 1943. 1862 is when the tunnel was first driven, and 1943 is when the concrete was put in place. Now you can see the first about 75 to 100 feet is cut stone. That's to hold up the road above and any loose material that's above you. And you can see where this reinforced concrete is and where it squares off, that's where the road itself is. Concrete's right there on this section. And this is still an active railroad tunnel. You can see that they just ran conduit pipe through here over this past summer. And this gives you another good view of the way the fans pushed air into this tunnel to ventilate the smoke out of it.